Welcome back to GMA. The Golden Knights delight the crowds with amazing feats. These military parachute jumpers together average about 10,000 jumps per year, but it's not without risk. ABC's chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz has an exclusive interview with one Golden Knight who survived a terrible fall and a passion that keeps his dreams alive. They are the Army's elite parachute team, the best of the best, performing at air shows, festivals, and sports stadiums across the country. Combat trained soldiers never imagining that it would be a nighttime performance training jump in Florida that nearly killed one of the Golden Knights. I got multiple patients with uh, spinal injuries, loss of sensation and movement. They're talking about Sergeant First Class Richard Young the most critically injured of the Golden Knights after colliding with a fellow soldier midair. At that point, we started spinning and we spun from roughly 24, 2,500 feet into the ground. Young, barely conscious, his body shattered. I want you to list your injuries for me. I broke my right fibula, two toes, shattered my pelvis, broke my femur, broke all but one rib on the left side, C-spine fracture, skull fracture, and I broke my jaw. Young remembers nothing about that night, but the memory is all too clear for his wife of nine years, Trina. His medic was calling me. As soon as I saw her number, I knew instantly there's no other reason she would call me. Trina flying with their two young children to the trauma center, seeing him out of emergency surgery for the first time. It was rough. This was real life. This wasn't a dream. This was him. Doctors warning Trina that her husband was unlikely to survive. It was just pretty much knowing him and the kind of person he is and how like dedicated he is and how much he loves his children and his family. And I couldn't really imagine him not making it. And after two months in a medically induced coma, Young proved his wife right. I just remember waking up, not being able to move or talk. So that was a very scary feeling at first. Young's recovery is far from over. Hours of physical therapy are ahead. And even though Young will not return to the elite parachute team, he will be back. And I know the one big thing you want to do is. I can't wait to jump out of a plane again. Once you, you get that, that first catch or free fall, you, you just want to get back to it. Proving his job in the Army is more than just a performance, it's his life's passion. Martha Raddatz, ABC News, Fort Bragg, North Carolina. His wife, I know. you see her no. head, she just <laughs> shook her head and he's had a head shake. It's an incredible story, but the look on her face yes. Yes, really everything. said it all. Every story we do about somebody who jumps out of a plane, gets bitten by a shark in the, uh, while surfing, they all say, why to get back again. on the horse. Yeah, yeah it's it incredible. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.